SGA and Ant Man is also doing the same thing because they they beefing on some like yo competitive, yeah. like yo we gonna go at each other, yeah. we gonna talk our shit. Yeah. They doing it in different ways. Yeah, because SGA is, <laughs> SGA is you know he's Canadian, eh? so he's got to be polite. Eh? Oh yeah, so he's not gonna talk a lot of trash on the court. Eh? He's gonna do it on Instagram. You eh? do it subtly, eh? Subtle, a little yeah. subtle shot, eh? A little subtle shot, a little sub like Drake, eh? Yeah. You know, little subtle little shot, little sub, <laughs> little, sub little subtle shot. You he, know said, what I mean? he said, that he said, intelligent shot. You know what I mean? Because yeah, yeah. he said on Instagram, he's like, they, they don't talk about me. They don't talk about me for my post game. They talk about me for my post game. Oh, the double on the double on oh. Don't ask me how. You know what I'm saying? Because I was, I guess, I was in response to to that was post game where he said it's hard. You know what I mean? To guard SGA with all the with all the calls that Shy gets, it's hard to shut him down. You can't touch him at any time of the game, so it's super hard to beat. The Ooh, team is in left, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Word, hold on. Foul. I see why he getting hey, the foul. On. I see why he getting all them calls. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he said the team's a good team, especially when they get calls like that, which is like, yo, I feel like when he was saying that shit, bro, and I, listen, you can tell me, inform, inform this opinion. As a player, like <laughs> when you get when you say your shit in the post game, and you like you know like if I say this, I'm gonna get fined, but I'm gonna get as close to getting fined as I can without getting fined. I don't think that's close to getting fined. Like, that's saying? like taking a sh- like I'm shooting my shot at the he at get the, all the calls. calls. I'm, I'm like, shooting my so shot. What this referee be? Some people shoot their shot. Some people just know how to you do, know do get to, they gotta get to a point where they start shooting. <laughs> but I love this because these are the two of the top. Guards in the NBA, like new faces of the league, you know, and in particular, he took the mantle of USA basketball. He's like, yo, we got to fix this shit. You know what I'm saying? We got to make this shit work. Then you got Shy on the other side who's repping Team Canada. It's a fact. And you, know what I'm saying? you, and you brought this up to me. He was like, yo, that's, that's going to be a, a, a hell of a matchup, for bro. For years dude, to come. For years. Because these dudes are young now. They, they coming up and they, like you were talking about that curve. Like, I want you to break down the curve, too, for the, for the, for the audience. But, like, yeah, the curve. he's about to hit that curve. And, like, bro, these, like, it's, you're witnessing the, the beginning of something. You know we're what I mean? Yeah, we're witnessing something. The beginning of something Ant-Man, special. The Canada-USA rivalry something is, is, is the beginning of something crazy, I think. Yes. You know what I mean? And, like. I love it. KD mentioned on Twitter. You know what I mean? Because all these guys are friends now. But it's not like back in the day. It's, you got social media. They, people follow each other. They, you know what I mean? Yo, where you going to be at? I'm in your city. Let's chill. So it's not really like, yo, I fucking hate this dude. That's, yeah. why, that's why it's like the beef between Ant and Shy. It's like, mm-hmm. you know, it's, it's a healthy sports beef. It's not like real beef. As but it's supposed to be. You're right. Com- competition. There's no sports beef. You're right. Like, come on. Like, you drop 20 on me, I'm going to fuck you up. Like, yes. <laughs> There's no sports beef. But KD was saying, you hoop harder against your, against your friends, against your peoples, which to me sounded kind of crazy because it's like, you know what I mean? It's why like you yo, want, why you want to fuck your friend? Up? You know what I mean? Well, I'm gonna put an elbow in your chest, but I'm gonna let you get your thirty piece if I'm not de- if I'm not defending you. Yeah. And you cooking my my man's, so I'm gonna fake help. I'm like yo, yeah. and then come back to my man like <laughs> practice my defensive. Yeah. Play. <laughs> me and you, champ. Let's <laughs> go. Let's get it one on one. You always got a defensive friend though. Right. <laughs> you go to the you go to the court and they just they 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 don't mind it. Yeah. And you just bust their ass and just destroy. <laughs> It's cool. It's cool, bro. It's cool. It's cool. Just yeah, try to get put the, the claims on. They just shoot a jump shot and they want to get back on defense. <laughs> <laughs> they run real fast back on defense. Especially one on one. It's like, damn, yeah, okay. But, but not so. Let's let's stay on track. So yeah, but it made it's, it made, made sense to me not to cut you off. It made sense to me because that was my thing as a Knicks fan during your tenure with the Knicks. That people would say, "Yo, Melo don't play defense." We talked about this earlier in an early episode. But when we played against the Heat. It was like, yo, if people was watching, like, yo, what is he gonna, how is he gonna play Bron? Yeah. And it's like, bro, he's playing him for real. Which, as a Knicks fan, I'm watching MSG, I'm watching Clyde and Mike, and I'm watching you do this every night. I'm like, yo, this is a bullshit narrative. Yeah. But then on the TV national games, you're doing it on a national stage to Bron. So is it true? Do you hoop hard against your, your friends? Or is there people where you're like, nah, I'm gonna, I'm coming for your head, bro, because I don't fuck with you? I think the, the, the friend part of it is just more, it's like, internally like mentally is like like we because we friends we on a we on a whole nother level like we ain't even got to speak and talk in the game and we know oh he's trying to do this no not even now i i know we laughing on the inside you know what i mean yeah, like yeah, he's yeah. saying certain jokes that we catching in the game like people that don't really see that like inside shit inside shit. shit that only me and you as a friend yeah can be wild can be talking about and you know what i'm saying 
And also like, oh yeah, I'm, I want to, I want to fuck you up as my friend. Like, I'm here for, win. I'm, and you here for a reason. So it shouldn't be no, no difference. So I love the, 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 the Shay and the, and the ant. I think we need more of that. I think we need more of that. Like, that like, man, like, nah, fuck you. I'm that. I'm the one. Nah, uh-huh. I'm the one. Like, you know, of course they gonna keep it, you know, PG thirteen, yeah. but. That's what I like too. They, I, love the, I love that because Ant is here to stay. Oh yeah. Shay is here to stay. They both here to stay. And now you add the, you know, the the heat that was drawn from Canada beating, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. US and like they the faces of both the World the Cup and yeah. like the world is looking at them too. So now you bring that back here to the to the league, you supposed to. You the you the you the man on your you the you the guy. I I feel like I'm the guy too. I gotta ain't no friendly shit going on yeah. in this game. Like we cool, but we'll go to dinner after. Right, right. <laughs> we gonna have a drink after. after. We go chill after. We it's none of that. And 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 this rectangle is there's none of that. Right. So I'm gonna compete, and I'm gonna compete even harder because I know you're that guy. Yeah. So why wouldn't I compete? And it just so happened that you're my, you, you're my man, you're my friend. So yes, we competing. When I played against Bond, I wanted, he wanted to kill me, I wanted to kill him. When and I you played know against not, Cole, I wanted to kill him. Yeah. And obviously, you know he wanted to kill me. Oh, for sure. But and when like, you play against the best, you want to kill the best. Like, of course. So when you, you talk about them two about to be, this is y'all about to see, we at the beginning. This is like, we invest in a startup right now. This is what we're investing in right now. <laughs> and I think we need, we, need, we need more of that. Knowing what you know, having the experience that you got internationally with the Olympics, all the FIBA stuff, like, does that work to grow the game internationally? Hell it, yeah. I think so too. Like, if Hell you, yeah. If you fight, if you going against Luca in the, in the regular yeah. season, then you got to go see him in the, Hell in the World yeah, Cup. Hell yeah, because they, they're different on their respective country teams. Yeah. They are different. Like, you think they different here. Luke is different over there. He's like, I'm playing for my country now, bro. Shy is different uh, with Canada. Like these guys are different with they, they teams, uh, their countries. So when you start talking about them too, and I think they reaching the curve at the same time too. That curve is. I was gonna say, break it down. Uh, give me the knowledge real quick. So with 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 the curve, we talk about the curve. Yeah. In sports, uh, in basketball particularly, but the curve is. My first year, I'm happy to get here. I'm here. I'm playing against my idols. I'm ah, ah, ah. I'm excited. Win or lose, I'm cool. Like the second year, you start getting a little bit more serious. Like, and you, but you start developing. You start gaining that. Like I done played 82 games yeah. in this league. I, I I know the speed. I know the. You know, you're accustomed the, to everything. The physicality. Yeah. I know the lay of the land and the traveling. You know what I mean? Hotel, we on the road. I, I know that. Your third year is when you start hitting that curve and where your idols start turning into rivals, right? Because yeah. it's like, I'm that guy. And I know in order for me to get the respect, I got to go, I got to come get you. So now everybody that I go against who, it's there. It's a different mentality. I, you ain't you my. I, I fuck with you. I'm you like yeah. you still my favorite. One of my favorite. Yeah, players, I, I got it. Like it's it's I'm me and you this today. <laughs> so the difference with Ann is he's letting that he's letting niggas know like I'm here to stay. I'm on y'all niggas bumpers straight up. And y'all gonna have to go. Y'all gonna have to go through me in a minute. Give me the motherfucking calls and watch right. what happens. So when I go up against other guys. That's why Ann is just different because his, his energy, you, these young guys ain't doing that. They ain't calling nobody out. They ain't calling stars out. They ain't, nah. they ain't calling the best guys out. Nah, I love that shit, bro. And then back, you know what I mean? Like standing on what they standing on and can stand on what they standing on. So I, I really think that it's good for the sport. It's good for Canada as a, as a yeah, country. It's good for the yeah. U.S. It's good for the world. Because now when you take this energy to the Olympics, to the World Cups, they piggybacking off of us anyway. So they're going to promote that. They're going to promote the rivals. They're going, 
Canada, USA might be one of the biggest games. But what I will say is, it's a different USA team that's going to Paris. Oh, yeah. So, ah, whatever happens is going to happen. Yeah, you get yeah. what I'm saying? But that, those two, and, 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 and Shea, they here to stay. Shea's here to stay. They are here to stay. And Shia's not going bye-bye. Nah, they here you know to know stay. I mean? So, as, you know, white hat guy, let's wrap up through the dome, you know what I'm saying, with this one. How does Aunt Edwards now kind of like navigate like the bullshit, right? Like the distractions, whatever, because he's one of them ones and he's here to stay. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that means you got to deal with a lot of bullshit. Andy from the A. You feel me? So it's Andy like a, the it, he, he's giving off that yeah. energy. Like but he's I, him I, all I, day. I, I, I know Shorty, man. Shorty ain't, he locked in. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because he know he got, he got a chance to be something special. Right. And I think people around him understand that too, to an extent. Like, yo, you are, you're him. You're, you're, him. you're the one. <laughs> yeah. You're next. Yeah. So do what you got to do, and let's get this, this wave out of the league, and it's yours. And it's yours, yeah. Push, so yeah. stay on track. Do what you do. Stay locked in. Of course, you're going to have your, you know, you're going to have fun, but it's, it's, it's greatness time for him. For him. And, it, and, and that's a different, that's a different lock in that you got to have. Yo, we're taking a brief break from today's episode to let you know that Prize Picks got you covered when it comes to helping you make some real bread. That's absolutely correct, my brother. The NFL playoffs is here now. NBA season is in full swing. All stars right around the corner. Prize Picks is helping us cash in. You feel mm, me? Talk you to me. Uh, they got the Daily Fantasy app where you can select two or more players, pick more or less on their projected stats, and turn $25 into $250. And the best part about it is, prize picks is really simple to play. I can make my picks and submit my entry in less than 60 seconds, bro. Prize picks allows you to pick a combo projections across football and basketball with specials so you can support all your teams while still cashing in. Cash in, that. You know what I'm saying? I got a couple projections on deck. A lot of them got to do with the Ravens, you know what I'm saying? So... We locked it. <laughs> Talk to me nice. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, be sure to visit, you know what I mean, prospects.com slash 7 p.m. so they know you're coming from us. Use the promo code 7 p.m. for a deposit match up to $100. Mm. 